Hi there, Pascal from Western Canoe and Kayak. Today I want to take a minute to talk about care and maintenance of your dry suit. Dry suits are a fairly expensive piece of technical apparel. With a little bit of maintenance, it can make them last many, many years. So the most fragile part of a dry suit is the gasket. And gaskets are consumable, they won't last forever. So there are a few things that you can do to make them last a little bit longer. Mainly, avoid getting sunscreen or bug repellent on them. The chemicals can really quickly deteriorate the latex rubber. Something that you can add uh, periodically throughout the season, a little bit of a silicone based um, UV protectant works great. Uh, you can also use 303, that's recommended by some dry suit manufacturers as well. Gaskets will deteriorate over time. Um, it's just a fact of life, they will get replaced eventually. So if you do find that you've got a little nick or a tear um, and you maybe want to limp through uh, a few sessions before you replace the gasket, I've certainly done it. It's maybe not best practice, but I have patched up gaskets temporarily with um, just some aqua seal. And it works okay, but it's certainly not something that I would really stake my life on. Right? So if it's winter time, best to just get the gaskets replaced. The other thing that can be fairly sensitive is the zipper. Um, so there's some different lubricants that are recommended. Um, mostly you want to make sure that you're cleaning the zipper. Little bits of sand and dirt can cause the zipper to come off its track. And then you might need to replace the zipper. Um, and that can be quite expensive to do. The material itself, Generally, uh, dry suits are made out of Gore-Tex these days. There are patches you can get if you put a hole in it, um, but best practice is to just try to avoid it, right? Avoid having screws and bits of hardware poking through the deck of your kayak and just be mindful that you're not pushing your way through blackberry bushes. <laughs> uh, if you're wearing your dry suit for a long period of time and you're thinking it needs a bit of a freshening up, maybe it's accumulated smells and grease, you're completely correct, right? A clean dry suit is going to allow the moisture that you build up to permeate better. It's gonna be more waterproof, all that good stuff. So they do make a shampoo specifically for dry suits. Um, it's got instructions on it. I usually just rinse my dry suit, especially if I'm going out in salt. Um, try to keep it relatively clean. Maybe every once in a while I'll do a, I'll do a wash if it's really bad. Um, if you need to wash your dry suit, you can either wash it by hand in a tub or you can put it in a gentle cycle on a front load washing machine. Make sure all the zips are closed. I would recommend putting it in a mesh bag as well just so it doesn't snag, um, but you can wash it in a washing machine. Don't put it in a dryer. Um, that would absolutely destroy the gaskets. If you notice over time that your dry suit is no longer beating water off the surface as well as it used to, there are some spray-on water repellent um, coatings that you can do that'll bring back a bit of that water repellency. If the dry suit is wetting out, as in moisture is landing on it and soaking into the fabric, it's still waterproof. It's just gonna feel a bit clammier because it's making a barrier for the vapor that you're generating with sweat to leave. Um, yeah, that's the long and short of what you need to take care of your dry suit. Um, if you find that your dry suit is in need of maintenance, check with the manufacturer. There's going to be places that they recommend that are authorized to do gasket repairs, zipper repairs, and stuff like that. And many of them, you may need to send the suit back into the manufacturer. It depends on the brand, um, but generally you can keep a dry suit going for many, many years. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions or comments or little tricks that you've got for taking care of dry suits, add them into the comments. As always, if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe to see more content. I'll see you in the next one.